Hello and welcome back everyone to the Sand and Track YouTube channel. Today's topic is all about the MAF sensor, which is the mass airflow sensor. Either you may have experienced a failure with the MAF sensor in the past, or you may come across one and here's how to prepare for it. But hang on, you might be wondering, what is a mass airflow sensor? Well, it's a sensor that determines the amount of air going through into the engine and it helps the car ECU determine how much fuel it needs to mix with the air. MAF sensors can fail for a variety of reasons. It could be sand going through your air filter or sometimes when you have a performance air filter, there's a higher chance of debris and sand going through, water or any kind of extreme temperatures may cause it to fail. And this happens on different types of vehicles, especially during off-road conditions. On the Pajero in particular, when the MAF sensor fails, you tend to get a check engine light. You see the traction control lights go on and the car would lose complete power and may turn off as well. The first thing to do if you experience a failure in your MAF sensor is stop your car, open up your engine hood, and then have a look at the sensor itself. Disconnect the wiring from it, undo the screws, take it out and clean it with some air and plug it back in. If the car operates fine and well again afterwards, great. If it doesn't, then try to replace it with another Maflo air sensor. So personally myself, I actually keep two of them spare in the car just because I know that I off-road quite a bit and it's something that fails quite regularly in the Mitsubishi Pajero. And of course, there'll be cases where you have no spare MAF sensor with you. So one of the things that you can do is disconnect the wiring from it and try to start the car. Your car may actually work, but with a very rough air fuel ratio mixture and maybe just enough just get you out of the desert area that you're in. Also to clear the check engine light that's caused by the failed MAF sensor, plug in your OBD connector into your car, open up your favorite application such as Torque, which allows you to clear any faults in the car. As you can see here on my car, it was showing a failed mass or volume airflow circuit low input. So that's basically a failed MAF flow sensor. I just simply replaced the MAF airflow sensor and I cleared the fault and I was just ready to go again. Thanks for tuning in again. If you do like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.